you want a ridiculously over the top brownie recipe? Yes? Kinda knew the answer would be yes, so today I'm going to deliver. I'm making a Rocky Road brownie. Yum, right? I just added one stick of butter, and to that I'm adding one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips from a 12 ounce bag. I'm gonna use the rest of them later. I have a bowl set over a pan of simmering water. You don't want the water to be too, too vigorously boiling or touching the bottom of the bowl, because that'll be too aggressive for the melting of the chocolate and the butter but you want it to be warm. If you have one of those classic old-fashioned double boilers, use that now. When your chocolate is fully melted, remove your bowl from the heat, and then you can stir in the rest of your ingredients. Half a cup of granulated sugar, half a cup of light brown sugar. The light brown sugar adds really great texture to your brownies, so make sure you use it. I like to stir this until the sugar dissolves before adding the rest of my ingredients. Also to cool it off just a little bit because the next ingredient is your eggs and you don't want those cooking in the hot chocolate. Okay, now add two large eggs. You can just go ahead and add both of them and then stir them in. I love a brownie too because really just stir everything together. It kind of takes like five minutes to make. You could, if you wanted to, melt your butter and your chocolate together in the microwave. That's a completely valid way to do this. Three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour and a half a teaspoon of fine salt or a teaspoon of coarse salt. Your brownie base is done. This is gonna bake and then you're gonna finish it by topping with all kinds of delectable goodies. This is a brownie pan or an eight by eight cake pan that I've buttered and then lined with parchment. I always like to leave a little overhang on the parchment and that way when I am finished with my brownies, I take them out of the pan, whoosh, they just lift right out. Add your chocolate mixture to your pan and have your oven preheating to 350 degrees. I just sort of shake it a little bit to distribute the batter. Bake it until when you insert a toothpick in the center, moist crumbs are attached. That should take about 30 to 35 minutes. So after 30 to 35 minutes, the top is set and shiny. Then you finish it off with the over-the-topness. The remainder of that 12-ounce bag of semi-sweet chocolate chips, which is about a cup and a half, sprinkle that on top. A cup of mini marshmallows. and half a cup of chopped nuts. I'm using walnuts, but you can use really whatever kind of nut you want, or if you don't like nuts or are allergic, leave them off. This just goes back into the oven until the chocolate melts and sort of melds everything together. Should take about five minutes. Look. Lifts out. Smells Keep so chocolatey. All right, cut it into about 16 pieces. It's pretty sticky. If you want to, you can spray your knife with a little bit of vegetable spray. That helps with the really sticky stuff not sticking onto your knife. It's rich, delicious, ridiculousness all in one brownie. Hmm? Rocky Road brownies. Crazy over the top and just for you. Ah, and me, obviously. Mmm. Wow. It's delicious. Not gonna lie. This is the most next level thing that you'll ever eat. Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to click here if you want to subscribe and click over here if you want to continue watching more great videos like this.